Do you know what to do during a super typhoon? When such a powerful storm comes our way, it's paramount to prioritize safety above all else. This video will guide you through a series of vital do's and don'ts to keep in mind. From staying informed and preparing an emergency kit, to understanding the importance of not ignoring warnings and avoiding certain hazards, we've got you covered. So, are you ready to be storm smart? Without further ado, let's dive into the do's and don'ts during a super typhoon. First up, what should you do during a super typhoon? When it comes to a super typhoon, staying informed is your first line of defense. Keep yourself updated with the latest weather forecasts and advisories from reliable sources. This can include local meteorological agencies or trusted news outlets. The more information you have about the storm's trajectory, intensity, and potential impact, the better you can prepare. Preparation is key when facing a super typhoon. One of the most important things you can do is to prepare an emergency kit. This kit should include essential items such as non-perishable food, water, a flashlight, batteries, first aid supplies, and important documents. Remember, you might need to sustain yourself and your family for several days without access to stores or utilities, so plan accordingly. Securing your home is another crucial step. Reinforce windows and doors to prevent them from breaking under the force of the wind and rain. Also, secure outdoor objects that could become projectiles in strong winds. These could be anything from garden furniture to children's toys. Anything loose can become a hazard in a storm. If the local authorities issue an evacuation order, follow it. It's critical to have a plan in place and know your evacuation routes beforehand. Remember, these orders are given for your safety, and ignoring them can put you and your family in serious danger. Once the storm hits, stay indoors. Find a safe location away from windows, and preferably in a room on the lower floor of your home. The risk of flying debris makes it dangerous to be near glass, and lower floors are generally safer in case of flooding. While you're hunkered down and waiting out the storm, make sure your cell phones, power banks, and other essential devices are fully charged. Communication can be vital during a disaster, and you'll want to have the means to reach out for help or receive updates about the storm. Staying away from floodwaters is another important safety measure. Never attempt to walk or drive through flooded areas. Floodwaters can be much deeper than they appear and may be contaminated or hiding hazards like downed power lines or sharp debris. Finally, if it's safe to do so, check on your neighbors. This is especially important for the elderly or those with disabilities who might need extra help during a storm. It's times like these when community truly matters and your help could make a significant difference for someone in need. These are the things you should do during a super typhoon to keep yourself and your loved ones safe. Now that we've covered the do's, Let's talk about what you shouldn't do during a super typhoon. Firstly, never ignore warnings. These are not mere suggestions. They are vital advisories meant to keep you safe. Ignoring them is not just reckless, it's dangerous. It puts your life and the lives of others at risk. So when warnings or advisories are issued, take them seriously. They are your first line of defense against the storm. Secondly, resist the urge to venture outside. No matter how curious you are or how calm the storm may seem, stay indoors until the storm has completely passed and authorities have given the all clear. The outdoors can be a hazardous place during a typhoon, with flying debris and unpredictable wind gusts. Thirdly, avoid using candles. They may seem like a good source of light when the power is out, but they pose a significant fire hazard. In the midst of a typhoon, the last thing you want is a fire. Instead, use flashlights or battery-powered lanterns. They're much safer and provide ample light. Next, unplug your electrical appliances. Power surges during a storm can cause significant damage to your electronics. Worse, they can trigger electrical fires. By unplugging your appliances, you safeguard your home and everything in it. Fifth, don't spread rumors. In times of crisis, accurate information is crucial. Stick to verified information from official sources and avoid spreading unverified or false information that could cause panic. Remember, panic can often be as dangerous as the storm itself. Sixth, don't rely solely on your cell phone for communication. Cell phone networks can become overwhelmed or disrupted during a typhoon. Therefore, it's wise to have alternative means of communication, such as a battery-operated radio. This will ensure you stay connected and informed even if your cell phone network goes down. Seventh, avoid entering flooded basements or crawl spaces. They can be hazardous due to the risk of electric shock or contamination. It's best to wait until these areas have been deemed safe by professionals before you venture into them. Lastly, don't forget about your pets. They are part of your family and need protection too. 
make sure they are indoors and have enough food and water to last throughout the storm. Keep them away from windows and doors, as glass can shatter and doors can be blown open by the wind. By avoiding these actions, you can further ensure your safety during a super typhoon. Remember, your actions can make a significant difference. Be smart, be safe, and remember, the storm will pass, and when it does, you want to be standing on the other side, safe and sound. It may seem like a lot to remember, but your safety and the safety of your loved ones is worth it. So stay informed, stay prepared, and most importantly, stay safe. And there we have it, the don'ts of weathering a super typhoon. By avoiding these actions, you can further ensure your safety during a super typhoon. To wrap things up, it's clear that a super typhoon is not to be taken lightly. Preparedness is key, and it starts with staying informed. Keep your eyes and ears open to the latest weather forecasts and advisories from trustworthy sources. Having an emergency kit at the ready is also vital. This kit should contain essentials like non-perishable food, water, flashlight, batteries, first aid supplies, and important documents. Securing your home is another crucial step. Reinforce those windows and doors and make sure any outdoor objects that might become windborne dangers are properly secured. And let's not forget about evacuation. If the authorities say it's time to leave, don't hesitate. Know your evacuation routes and have a plan in place. Once the storm hits, stay safe indoors, away from windows, and in a room on the lower floor if possible. Charge up your devices and steer clear of floodwaters. And in the spirit of community, do check on your neighbors if it's safe to do so. On the flip side, there are certain things you must avoid. Don't ignore warnings, don't venture outside until the coast is clear, and don't use candles or electrical appliances during the typhoon. Stick to verified information and remember to have alternative communication methods ready. Avoid flooded areas and don't forget about your pets. Remember, your safety is the top priority during a super typhoon. Stay safe and thanks for watching.